Hey everybody, this is Miss Celine of the Night, and I'm going to make a quick video about some books that I have. So, I have quite a few, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, this is a book by Amber K. True Magic, A Beginner's Guide. And this was actually a really good book. Um, I didn't read the whole thing, but everything that's in here uh, was very informative. And I, um, I would suggest this for a beginner. Um, this one is called The Book of Druidry. I always say this wrong. Druidry. Um, and this one I have never looked at because my fiancé bought this one and he was kind of studying it. So, um, I haven't got to this one yet. Uh, this is another one he got. The Everything Toltec Wisdom Book. A complete guide to the ancient wisdoms. Which he said was actually pretty good. So, I'm going to have to give that one a go. That one's by Alan Hardman. And it says there he's a Toltec master, so I never even noticed that before. Um, this here is a crystal bible by Judy Hall. And this one basically just has all the different types of crystals. Um, you know, the rarity, the source of them, what you can use it for, you know, the attributes of it, healing, position, those kind of things. So, this is a great book to have. Um, another one is um, Teen Witch by Silver Ravenwolf and um, this one has some really great information even though it says uh, you know Teen Witch on it it has a lot of useful things in here so you know here for example color magic color magic correspondence list you know it, it's really good this one's a good one I uh, haven't read all of it just kind of you know breeze not breeze through it but you know kind of glance through it so let me put a couple of these back so I don't start a huge pile here. Because there are, there are a lot. <sighs> Sorry, I'm all over the place. <clears throat> this is the Witch Book Encyclopedia of Witchcraft, Wicca, and Neo-Paganism by Raymond Buckland. And actually last night when I was looking at all these books, um, I just realized that Raymond Buckland wrote this one. And I really like this one because it is definitely exactly like an encyclopedia, you know, where you can look up a letter and there will be information in it. There's some good pictures in here as well. So this one is a great book to have. Uh, this one is just simply called Witches, True Encounters with Wicca, Wizards, Covens, Cults, and Magic by Hans Holzer. Um, this one I honestly haven't read. I... Um, I believe I read like, I want to say, actually that picture is familiar, um, so I want to say maybe, I don't know, like chapter 3. This one was good though as far as what I did read. I like to uh, grab pieces from different books, so um, just you know going back and forth between different books, taking notes, and um, sourcing them is really helpful to me. I don't really like to highlight in too many of my books, just because um, if I ever want to trade a book with someone, I don't want it to be all marked up for them. So that's that. Oh, sorry. I got a new camera today, so let's hope that this goes flawless with the recording aspect. Uh, this book is called Witchcraft and Practical Magic, and this one pretty much has... Um, whole bunch of different spells. This one's also an encyclopedia like Raymond Buckland's. But this one has great colored pictures in it. Sorry, there's a shadow. That's just me holding the camera. How do I do here? They have some great pictures in here. So this is more so, you know, the history and uh, different spells. And this is a great book to have. I really like it a lot. So that's that one. And if you're interested in this one, um, this one is written by Susan Greenwood. And how do you pronounce that? Rege Airy? I'm not sure how you say that one. Um, another one, I have a Shakara book. Chakra book, I always say that wrong. Um, for beginners. And um, this is another one that my fiancé bought right around the same time we bought the crystal book. Um, what else? Here's, uh, 
Oh, that's just a Mountain Rose Herb book. Sorry. Um, How to, to Ride a Silver Broomstick by Silver Ravenwood. She's got some pretty good um, books here, so they're very informative. Some things kind of clash with um, other books I've heard. Like, sorry, those are my feet. Um, some things kind of co like clash with her books and a couple different authors, but I haven't really seen any issues. Um, but that's what I've heard from other people, so not too sure about the um, credibility there for uh, that being true or not. So, um, but from what I've seen, her books are pretty good. And I got this one from a friend, which I also got three, four other books from him as well. Um, this one is called The Craft Companion, which is journal by Dorothy Morrison. And I've actually seen this one on Amazon before, and I wanted to get it. Um, but I, you know, I kind of, I don't know, I, uh, I didn't get it for some reason, and obviously this was it. I just didn't know it. Um, and this one is pretty much, she has some, sorry, my hand is in the way. She has some spells and stuff in here. And then on the other side is, um... You know, just some blank journal pages for you to go ahead and make your own notes. So this is cool. I haven't uh, done anything with this. I haven't written in it yet. Um, and I probably wouldn't write, write in it just because, like I said, I don't like really marking up books. But that's great. Uh, this one is the Scott Cunningham book, Wicca, A Guide for the Solitary Practitioner. I haven't looked at any of these yet because he just gave these to me, so... I have a lot of stuff to read and a lot of notes to take, so... I have a lot of things to do here. This one is the Wicca Book of Divination. Um, this is by Kalia Underhill. And I haven't looked in this one either, so... Uh, like I said. Not too sure what kind of stuff is in here, but... I'm sure it's pretty good. Here's another Scott Cunningham book. Uh, Living Wicca. And, um... Considering it has over 200,000 copies sold, I'm pretty sure it's a good book. Um, just a quick note. You know, like this chapter is tools, altars, dress, and ritual jewelry. Deity concepts, creating... Sorry, what did it say? Yeah. Oh, creating a new path. Prayers and rites of thanks and offerings. So this one seems like it's pretty good. Here, let me put some of these back. <clears throat> I have all of his that he gave me on his own shelf, so I know which ones I need to dig into still. And I clearly need to get a tripod for this camera because I cannot hold this and do all this. I am not that coordinated. Oh. I have these books, of course. They're all thick and stuff, so... Okay, here's my bottom shelf. Last set of books. This one um, is the Complete Idiot's Guide to Witch Wicca and Witchcraft 3rd Edition. And this is actually one of the first books I bought myself. Um, I know, I don't know if a lot of people would say, uh, you know, it's insulting that it's an idiot's guide. To me, uh, I kind of like these books because when you're new to something, it really helps teach you, you know, what what people think it is and then what it really is. So, to me, this was very helpful. Um, let me see if I can find an example. Okay, so like this section, creating an altar, and it just um, tells you about, you know, altars are designed for all traditions. Um... You know, what it is, what do they look like, that kind of thing. It tells you definitions. There's definitions throughout the whole book. Uh, so yeah, so like, here's some definitions here. This was a really good book. I really like this one. I read this whole book. Um, so that's good stuff. <clears throat> this one is, this one's a good one too. The Everything Wicca and Witchcraft book by Sky Alexander. Um, this one is also, it's kind of like, um, oops, sorry, it's kind of like the Complete Idiot's Guide. Um, it has a lot of fact information in it. 
uh, like it'll say essential fact you know it tells you the sabbats there's charts you know this is a great book uh, what else what else this is just simply called witch by Candace Savage and I saw this half of my books are from half price books so I don't know if everyone else has one of those by them but they have a great section of books and so these are very colorful, lots of pictures, lots of great information. I think it's really, um, really the cover of the book really drew me in because you see this picture quite a lot um, throughout studying and research and even on the internet you see it a lot. So I don't know, it pulled me in and then of course the information on the inside is just wonderful. So that's a good one. This book uh, is the book that I talked briefly about in my other video. Um, this really helped me um, kind of see what it's like from another witch's perspective. Um, on what it's like becoming a witch, going through different changes of your life, you know, telling people, uh, seeing how people treat you, how you realize you're a witch, all these kinds of things. And this is from a woman who's local here. And um, if anyone is interested, she's a very sweet woman. There's her information. And um, she she like does tarot readings um, at local um, cafes and that kind of thing. And uh, I've never met her yet, actually, which I've always wanted to kind of do, but um, I just never got around to it. She does readings at her house and all that stuff, so uh, this was a really good book. It's kind of, you know, seeing what it's like from someone else, so it's kind of like their diary, I guess you could say. Um, but you know, I'll show you the inside of it. She kind of had it like this here. Oh, sorry, there's a lot of shadow. Like age 43. You know, she's a... Uh, looking through her heritage, you know, all that kind of stuff. It's a really great book. So, this one's cool. And I think, uh, oops, I think on her website she has a copy that you can purchase for pretty cheap if you're interested in reading it. If not, you can email her and I'm sure she'll send you a link or, um, some, some type of website where you can go and download it. Um, this one, oops. Oh, it's another Silver Ravenwolf book, um, The Solitary Witch, Book of Shadows. This is another type of um, encyclopedia book. Very, very large, very informative. This was kind of my go-to book when I first started. Um, so, this one's really great. This isn't the kind of book, along with any of the other encyclopedia books I showed you, that you would really read front to back. Um, it's more so a source book where if you have any questions or uh, think of something random you can hurry up and you know run to your book and just grab it and you know look up what, whatever you're whatever you're thinking about so this is some great information um sorry I'm holding this camera so awkward I'm not used to it this is the first time filming with it I also have some other Raymond Buckland books this is a complete book of witchcraft um, what I love about this book is his style of the book. He has chapters that have, you know, information, definitions, um, you know, they're pretty much lessons. And then at the end of the chapter, sorry I said that weird, chapter, he has some questions. You know, so like at the end of this chapter, he has um, related the experiences and insights that have come to you while meditating. So this um, chapter must have been on uh, meditation. So it's a really great book and, um, you know, very, very informative. See, so he shows you diagrams. I mean, great stuff. And actually that one I just showed you, I think it was how to make your own altar table. Um, I have another Raymond Buckland book. Gosh, say that five times fast. Raymond Buckland book. Oh, 
sorry, I'm trying to get situated here. Okay. Um, this one I found at the same store I bought the first one from. Um, but it was on a different day, completely different year. Um, just happenstance that I found this book. And this is the Book of Spirit Communications by Raymond Buckland. And for some reason, you know, I had, I always buy more than one book at a time, which is why I have so many. And, um, you know, going through the aisle and I'm looking through all these books, and I see this one and I'm like, you know, I have his first one. Why not get this one? This one will come in handy eventually. So I'm looking through the book and it's got the same format, you know, the lessons and then the questions afterwards to help you learn. And I'm flipping through it like this. And I get to the front of the book, and I find this. To Melissa in Love and Light, Raymond Buckland. So, to me, this showed me that uh, this was the reason why I bought this book. This was why it was calling out to me. It was to show me that even though I'm not Melissa, this was not meant for me, it was not for me, um... I don't know. It just, it was just really cool that I ended up finding this book that was autographed by Raymond Buckland. And I honestly haven't even dived into it yet because I really don't want to really touch it, I guess. I don't want to really mess it up. So, um, kind of just sits on the shelf and, uh, looks nice. But I'm sure this is a great book because, like I said, his other complete book of witchcraft is a great book. And that was me dropping you guys. I'm very sorry. Um, like I said, I'm not used to this camera. Just got it. This is my first use. Um, and I think that's all of my books that I have right now. Wait, I might be lying. I feel like I'm lying. Where's my other book? Oh, all of these are sitting on top of it. Hold on a second. You know what, let me just dig underneath these instead of wasting your guys' time. So this is my, it's not really a book of shadows, it's more of a journal that I um, write notes in. Uh, this is the first, the first um, little book of shadows type of thing I started doing. And, um, you know, that's like my mission statement and how I realized that I'm a witch. Um, and I've had this since... 321 of 2010. So, you know, I, whenever I'm reading different books and I want to write down notes, this is what I grab and I keep it in my purse actually. And, um, right now I'm kind of looking through this book. This is a The Sabbaths, A Wishes Approach to Living the Old Ways by Eden McCoy. And this is a phenomenal book. I mean, this is the only book that I have ever highlighted anything in because it's it's really good and I don't ever want to forget anything that's in here. Like this basically it goes through all the Sabbaths. Um, they give you history of the Sabbaths, um, great pictures, recipes. I mean, this is a great book. Oh look, there's my receipt. Only paid nine sixty eight for this book. Pretty awesome. I mean, it shows you how to make a grain dolly. Um, what was another cool thing that I want to actually make? I have it highlighted in here. Where did it go? Look, I mean, like, they have songs in here for ritual. Um, <clears throat> where did that go? There's just so much awesome stuff in here. Where is that one thing at? Oh, see, like, this is a cool section. Uh, like, you know, here's your Sabbath for Sam Hain. Your mythical creatures key actions. And then, like... Deity is associated with the Sabbaths, Samhain goddesses, 
like you know this is some some really great info sorry it's trying to focus there we go um but yeah like this book is really sweet I like it a lot and I'm still kind of going through it I'm trying to find that one thing in here really quick because it's just too cool and I want to make one Bum, 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 bum. Where are you? Uh, so like, see, like that's a sun wheel. That's not what I was looking for, though. Here it is. Uh, a candle wheel. Look how awesome that is. I don't know how safe that is, but I think I'm gonna give it a go. It looks totally awesome, and it gives you, you know, candle wheel form the measurements, how to make it, I mean really in depth. So I really do suggest this book for anyone who wants to become more familiar with the Sabbaths. Um, so that's a good one. And the last one I have, I showed this one in my other video, The Witch's Almanac. And uh, this is for this year and 2014. And these just have really great stories in them, along with, you know, all of the calendar months so and you know the moon phases and all that so great book um I think that's about it um yeah I don't think I have any other books lying around if I do I'll uh, add them into another video but so yeah if anybody has any questions or you need me to repeat an author or um anything just let me know and um, I will talk to everyone soon. I hope you're having a great weekend. And um, yeah, blessed be. Talk to everyone later.